Yo, what's happening, man? It's OT Genesis, and you checking out HotNewHipHop.com with Baker. I'm in love with the What's good, everybody? It's your boy Baker with HotNewHipHop.com. I'm with an artist. He is from Long Beach, California. He's not new to the game. You probably seen him in the 2014 BET Hip Hop Awards Cypher. And right now, currently, he got one of the most played songs in the club. You probably seen it on Twitter. You might see it on Instagram. I'm in love with the Coco. OT Genesis, what's up, bro? Yo, what's up, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm good. How you feeling? Great, man. Great, great, great right now, man. Just trying to uh, adapt to this weather out here. Right. Currently, we in D.C. It's your first time in D.C. My very, very, very first time. How, like, okay, so you from the West Coast, so, and you've been to the East Coast a couple times. Of course, they playing your song in New York, so... What's the love like versus the East Coast love and the West Coast love? It's kind of it's crazy, man. Cause I mean, my city always been rocking with me, right? But the East Coast is what made the record what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like it took off in a whole like a whole different type of way. Of course, like on the West Coast, you know everybody. You know we all known for having a certain sound, right? You know what I mean out there, but. You know, I'm in my own lane and everything like that. So, they, I mean, it actually opened it up for me. You know what I'm saying? Coming to the East Coast and, you know, love is love on the West anyway. And, you know, the city turned up right now, but the East Coast started it. Yeah, and it's crazy how you don't get that West Coast vibe because it's not a DJ Mustard. And then you don't have yeah, yeah. the features, so you came in your own lane. But do you want to work with some Cali artists or who do you want to work with from the West Coast? I mean, of course, I'm... I'm looking forward to working with Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Me and Snoop yeah, have right. chopped it up, you know what I'm saying? Do something crazy. Um, uh, I mean, it's a couple of, I got a couple, well, Kendrick. As far as like, like, like Mustard and YG, like, they're my homies. I know them niggas, so we've been knowing each other for a while. So, okay. you know, that'll just play out how I play out if we ever do something. But, um, you know, as far as uh, other people like E-40, Snoop, like, I'm looking forward to, you know, like iconic dudes like that. Right, the OGs. Saying? Yeah, the OGs. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about your ethnic background. Like you said, you from Long Beach, but a lot yeah. of people are like, okay, he got to be from yeah. some yeah. other country. I'm, yeah, I'm from Belize, you know what I mean? Central America. All right, you know South I mean? America, okay. Yeah, Central America. Okay, Central yeah. America. So let's talk about Coco. Like, I first heard the song, I think I was in a club. I'm like, I'm in love with the Coco. Yeah. And then and then all of a sudden, I just hear it everywhere. And then I see it on Twitter. Every five minutes, I see somebody tweet, I'm in love with the Coco. Yeah. And then congrats, because I seen it was number one Thanks, on bro. iTunes. Thanks. And then I seen the Billboard Emergent Artists on right, Twitter. Right, right, so I'm right, like, right. okay, so it's really doing numbers. Yeah. So since the success of all that, how does it feel like you see all the tweets and i know you've seen all the other pictures right right right, stuff right, like that. right. <laughs> <laughs> um man it's a, it's a humbling feeling man and um like i said like you know like where i come from and the way i was brought up and the way i used to move like right now i still can't believe that it's me right you know what i'm saying that's what i tell people i'm just like damn like like i ain't on the outside looking in no more you know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn, that's me. So when I listen to the record, I hear it on the radio. I hear, or I see all these memes on Instagram. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, like, this is me. Oh, you. Like, it's crazy. So, you know what I mean? It's a blessing, man. It feel great, man. Okay, so speaking of Coco, I want to play a quick game. Of course, we know that you love Coco. What's three other things that OT Genesis love? Um, Three other things, man. Besides the Coco. It would have to be spending time with my son. Okay. Um, turning up, uh, turning up like to like to the max, to the max. Okay. And I like bowling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So of course, a lot of people don't know you were signed to G Unit right. in 2011, right. Right. and currently right. right now you signed with Busta Rhymes label. Right. So that transformation from 2011 to now with Busta Rhymes, what have you learned through the whole process? Man, I learned a lot, man. Just really, the main thing, man, is to to stay focused, man, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't forget, man, that, you know, this is a business, too. Right, You know exactly. what I'm saying? So sometimes you'll be sitting there thinking, like, damn, like, what's going on? Like, what, what's, but at the end of the day, it's a business. And 
other people got things to do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, time is money. So, like, really, it's just, man, stay focused, man. Stay focused. And, you know, I got tunnel vision. So, okay. it's all good now. Okay. So, after, right now, of course, you got the single. So, what's going to be next? The follow-up has to be absolutely crazy because of <laughs> all the reception you get right now. You yeah. know you got to come hard with the yeah. follow-up. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I ain't, I mean, I got, I got a lot of records, man, to shoot out. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't really tripping off the follow up. I okay. know I got I know I gotta come with it. Like I know, but I ain't right. gonna stress it. You know what I'm saying? When you stress it, that's when you think too hard and you do some some shit you ain't supposed to be doing. So, um so yeah, man, coming up with the follow up and then uh, you know, next year, man, when we start the year off, maybe, you know, you know, maybe remix time or something like that. Right. When it gets to like remix time, January, February or whatever it is. You know, you know, do the remix and um, oh, hope do the remix and then drop a tape, EP, or something like that. I'm looking forward to it though. Okay, like I said, congrats on everything. Thank you, bro. Let everybody know where to follow you at on all your social media. Uh, everything is uh Genesis is here. Just G E N A S I S I S H E R E. Genesis is here. Turn up. And that is a wrap. You checking out hotnewhiphop.com with myself, Baker, the homie OT Genesis. Yeah. And make sure you go on iTunes and get Coco because I'm in love with the Coco and you got it for the Lolo. Kaina. And that is a wrap. We definitely wanted everything about the project to be different from what people would expect. And that's kind of like, that goes into the whole concept of preem. Just killing shit, man. Anybody that know me, I kill everybody. Every feature. All y'all niggas that never put them features out because I kill all y'all niggas. That's can't, you, can't, you can't sell something who, that you don't have buyers. Who really going in the stores on Black Friday? Exactly. Black people. I mean, we trying to get them lower prices. <laughs> I'm keeping it real, man.